Hey guys, in the last video, we created a button with gradient border, but when we tried applying border radius to it, it simply refused to work. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a button with gradient border on which we can apply border radius. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the button which we're going to create. It has a border gradient and then it also supports border radius on top of it. So let's get started. Let's visit the code that we already have here and let me read the code that actually does all the calculation and makes the bottom. Code removed. We have the button. Let's begin with HTML. Here we have nothing in the body, just a button. And in head we are having some jibber jabber here, title, and we have attached a style sheet. Now we're done with HTML, so let's close it. Okay, in the CSS file we are importing a font. Then we have predefined a gradient into a variable which we call custom properties in CSS. Just a bit of margin reset and a bit of code that centers the button. And it defines the font. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to apply the, like the font on the button so that it looks bigger before we start doing anything. So, button, select the button and what we're going to do is apply font to inherit. So it will take everything from the body. And here we have a button ready. So on the button, we'll begin by applying the background gradient. So background var, simply add a variable here. And there we go. Okay, second thing, we are going to remove the default water. So let's remove that water to zero. Now that's also removed. Let's add a bit of padding so our button looks a little nicer. We're gonna go with one, two, one rem here and two rem there. Okay. Okay, now let's begin with the most important part. We are actually going to create a border, which is not a border but is background but looks like a border. So, yeah. Okay, first of all, we're gonna overlap our whole button with an element that has the same background or color as off our base background that is white. So let's do that at first. I'm going to use pseudo elements here, but you can use normal, regular HTML elements like spam. Okay, let's get started. Before, we're going to set the content. Okay, so let's set it to display block. Then we're going to set the height and width to 100%, 100%, width 10%. Then we're going to set the background color to white. It should be a variable here. And what's left? So I believe it's on the corner. So we're going to set to position absolute. And then we'll move it to top left corner so that it will always remain there. So position absolute. What is happening? Position absolute. There we go. And move it to top left corner. So top zero. Now because it's a position absolute element, we need to limit the area in which it can wander or move around. So we're gonna set the parent to position relative. Anything other than static will work. Okay, now it's time for actually creating the border. To get started, we'll first define a border width as a variable. We're going to use it a lot of time. So let's make a variable, border width. Let's say it's two pixels, one pixel. Start with one pixel, okay. So next what we're going to do is we're going to shift our overlaying element to oh, show a bit of space that is that equals to the border width. So now that you can see we have top and left border. Now what we need to do is to make uh, this border visible like the bottom and the right one. For that what we're going to do is we're going to calculate, we're going to subtract twice the value. Um, of water width from height and width twice because we need to make space for both top and left bottom water water so which makes it twice so water into two and another we're going to do the same thing here as you can see now we have the water bottom available and now it has a gradient water but I told you we're gonna have border radius on it, right? Okay, now we have the border. If I do it just one, 
that's the exact way we will we will not be able to see the element we need twice okay now i load you in because i told you i we will create a button with border radius so let's do that now then we'll focus on showing the content so for that what we're going to do we're going to set border radius on our palette element as a variable so let's set it here border radius five pixels next we're going to set the border radius of our button element so border radius how much like border radius okay now it clips actually now what is happening here is our border our element is being rounded by the inner element that is the button the overlapping element is actually overflowing it so what we're going to do now is we're going to apply border radius to the button's child to the overlapping element so border radius and border radius now you can see we have it circled a border radius is working so let's increase the radius to 5 10 pixels okay now you can see it's curving but our calculation is wrong it doesn't account for the border width so let's fix that so we can calculate the border radius by taking our border radius that's the parent element and then subtracting our border width from it okay so now it's done you can see it also improved when it comes to that bulky edge we had before now we can actually increase the border radius to see it work okay you can see it's green border let's keep it two pixel because it looks hunky dory there okay now we have a problem that we need to solve that is our content is not visible for that what we're going to do we are going to shift our button higher up on the z plane the z index uh, so we have the z index to two or one and next up we are going to move our button below uh, the normal layer to minus one to so that our content will remain minus one minus one minus one and there we go we have a content visible so now what is happening here is the index is moving button up which is creating a stacking context then we are moving our overlay below in the stacking context that's it we have created a button that supports border radius and it supports them very nicely i guess we are done for this video and i'll see you guys next time